Hello everyone, I've got another vintage Hoover to show you today. I've shown you some Hooverettes before. In fact, I've shown you this model before in this colour. I've also shown you the orange Hooverettes I've got. The only Hooverette I haven't got, which I used to own, is the uh, green one. Is it Swedish green and smoked pine? For some reason that's quite hard to get hold of. The one I'm going to show you does pop up on eBay fairly often and at the time of making this video I think there's one or two available now but this blue version I'm sure came before the green one this dates from the 60s sort of from, from the early 60s I think this was introduced and ran up until around 1980 I do have a brochure it might have been 81 actually I do have a brochure from 81 or 82 that still features the orange and white Hooverette. And by that time it was, you know, just a very basic stick type cleaner. Here we have the Hooverette. All right, that's just an empty bag, I think. So I just I, I just bought this on a I just bought this on impulse folks, because it looked in quite good condition. It's not hundred percent complete. It looked in quite good condition and it was pretty cheap and it was on a buy it now. Here we have the main carpet and floor nozzle, a little less wide than the standard floor nozzle you'd get on a Constellation or a Hoover 417 etc. So a little bit less wide. That's not bad underneath either. That's pretty good condition. That brush has plenty of life in, in it left. and. Even the little rubber teeth haven't worn down completely. So we've got the brush in the floating position. Or you can lock it for hard floors. Or if you want to, you can push the brush down, then lock it so it's up. So yeah, that's not bad, just a little bit dirty, but that will clean up very, very well, I feel. Just been thrown in the box at least there's some bubble wrap around the cleaner which we'll look at in a moment we have a used but not too bad crevice tool with the old pip fitting still intact we have the double stretch hose yeah this would fit hoover dustette as well that has the pip fitting. Even the later dustettes from the 80s, this would fit. So you can tell this is earlier. That is in lovely condition, actually, that handle. Now I'm going to take this out. I'm not going to twist it. This is obviously twisted round. You can rotate this nozzle. But um, in the past, I've done that when the nozzle has been fitted and it's broken the pip off. So I will take the nozzle out. This seems to have had the most use. Is it? This is probably why the seller left it on, because it's not... It's not coming out, folks. Wow. No, I'll have, to, <laughs> I'll have to try that. I'll have to try loosening that at a later date. You can tell it's an earlier model because you can see here the clip that you press down to release the tools is all metal. Obviously on later versions that changed to plastic. And yes, that's that's fairly worn. I think they've used that nozzle more than anything. So that's the all-purpose brush. Then we have the handle. And you've also got a little loop to hang it up on the wall, on the back of your cupboard, in your scullery. And the reason, if you haven't seen any Hooverette videos before, the reason this has got holes in it is because this plugs into the exhaust outlet of the Hooverette. So the air exhausts through these holes in the handle. And we've got the Hoover handle grip there. Again, you know, very good condition. It's going to polish up nicely. For some reason we have a belt. <laughs> is it genuine? It is genuine though, so I'll, that'll be useful. It's a genuine Hoover belt. Models 11 I think it says 119. I'm not sure, I'll probably take some others. Made in England. 
so that's uh, that's going to be kept obviously but completely useless for this model so again lovely condition in this sort of satin blue color there probably is a proper hoover color name for this and again it's got the metal catch what else so two things that we're definitely missing that I, I'm sure I have in my original blue hooverette it's missing a little felt clip-on pad that you'd clip onto the carpet and floor nozzle and you'd use that on your polished parquet floors and etc and it's also would have had a color coordinating blue shoulder strap that would fit onto the handle of the cleaner and so you could wear the hooverette as a handbag a handbag we do have a little guarantee card here parts excluded from guarantee cleaners belts sweeping brushes and electric lamps polishers polishing brushes felt and lambs wool pads washing machines and spinner rinse no parts excluded from guarantee this portion of the card must be retained by the purchaser and produced in the event of a claim being made under the terms of the guarantee note the guarantee becomes valid only a only when the above registration card has been completed and posted to Hoover Limited. So that registration card isn't there. So I'm assuming it is under guarantee, although I think that's probably expired by now. Not sure if we can date. This is model 2944. And that's the guarantee. Signed by the managing director. Can't really read it. it might be something Roberts. Instructions for the use and care of cleaner model 2944 Hooverette. So I've got uh, one of these. So we can see what we're missing. Yes, all we are missing is the buffing pad and the carrying strap. And there's a lady using it in the upright mode on a rug. And there she is using the buffing pad. There we go, on her parquet. And there she is using the Hooverette as a fashion accessory on her chair. And there she is cleaning her pelmets with the Hooverette on her shoulder. And then we've got a little section here on the disposal bag, how to empty it, how to maintain cleaning efficiency. We've got the Hooverette hanging up there and other famous Hoover products we've got the deluxe cleaner the electric floor polisher the steam or dry iron the keymatic the Hoovermatic and the spinner rinse and on the back we've got the picture of Hoover head office in Perivale no longer the home of Hoover but still called the Hoover building it has a supermarket behind it and it now has luxury apartments well luxury in price I don't know how luxurious they are inside but there are apartments now inside the once Hoover factory and head office of Hoover Limited don't think there's any dates on this but yes I'm saying this is um, early 60s okay let's uh, take the cleaner itself and yes that is in Pretty nice condition. I don't think it's discoloured. I don't think it's faded or changed colour. I think sometimes these can take a greeny hue. But that looks okay. It's very sort of, I don't know, it's sort of rocket, space agey, don't you think? You know, it just reminds me of sort of certain cars of that era. Just look at the styling of it. So you can use it as a handheld like this it's hard to show you without being able to take the small nozzle off but you can clean your stairs like that if you want to with this nozzle or the all-purpose brush i'll have to see how i can release that i'm not sure why it's stuck maybe just soak it in some hot water to release the nozzle or the hose you just press that look should should just release there we go little catch there and you've got the same little catch on the back and this is where the cleaner blows from so you can use it for blowing as well if you want to use it for blowing you can 
you could connect the wand and the crevice tool and you can blow out dust or of course you can connect the hose to the blowing outlet like so and again it's best if you connect the crevice tool but it's ideal if you've never blown dust out the back of radiators you're in for a shock you can buy those brushes can't you those thin radiator brushes those long flexible things that you can poke down the back of your radiators and in between the veins the fins inside and you'll see all the muck falling underneath but you could also get a, a vacuum that blows and shh, just blow it all out and then of course you've got to suck out uh, the muck it uh, removes because blowing will often release dirt you can't reach with a suction even if you went down with your crevice tool in suction mode you'll find it's far more effective to use the blowing function it's yes it's it's really going to clean up well I'm, I'm hoping it sounds as good as it looks so we've got plastic handle on the top here that's where you'd connect the shoulder strap there's two holes there that connects into there's two little metal springy things that go in we've got the on off switch same as the hoover dustette very nice indeed got the hoover roundel on both sides and we have a lovely metal rating plate here so let's have a closer look at that this is Hooverette model 2944, 225 to 250 volts, DC or AC, 0 to 60 hertz, 240 watts, rating 9. Serial number is MH60266, protected by patents and trademarks in Great Britain and the principal countries of the world, complying with BS1645 double insulation made by Hoover Limited. Great Britain. To access the bag we've got two metal clips either side and we can take off Oof. <coughs> Ew. bit of muck there coming out that's a heavily used bag hmm can't remember if that's missing I don't know if that's missing a flap I think there should be a flap a little rubber flap that covers the hole there so when you actually because the you know you don't want to have all the muck coming out of the bag and there's uh, no flap I wonder if it pictures it no it doesn't show that part mm, I can't remember I think it should have let's just take out the bag I was wondering you know if Henry quick bags will fit this it depends on the size I'm going to try it I mean a lot of people what you could do I mean I would always put some sort of inner bag and you can still get them you know they're not easy to get but they are still available certainly pattern bags I've seen for the Hooverette I don't know what this bag is ah oh, <laughs> they've done yeah they've done the old trick of cutting down and you can obviously still buy these H1 bags they've cut down a Hoover H1 junior bag in order to use it inside the dustette not the dustette the hooverette the dustette was another animal altogether um, but of course you can modernize the filtration a bit on these by cutting down a fleece bag I wouldn't get a genuine you know just get some generic fleece bags like a SIBO bag probably would do and then it can fit inside this cloth bag which has got a bit of fine dust in it it's all pretty clean isn't it now I've got a Henry quick bag just to see Ooh, it does actually it does actually fit no ah oh, never mind it was worth worth a try it's this plastic piece this bit here if that wasn't there it would go in but I can't close it it won't it won't fit that is a pity 
As for the Halo capsule, it's a bit of an expensive way of doing it. I wonder if it'll, I'll just try it like that. It might just squeeze on. No. I would have to cut this bag. Now let's get some scissors and do a little bit of trimming. It's a work in progress, but there's always ways, folks, of making your vintage machines have better filtration. There we are. I think it'll be okay. Right, let's give it a go. It's got that lovely whiff, that lovely aging smell. That's nice. So we'll put the carpet floor nozzle. I think I'll put it back in the floating position. Now you can use this in two, well, you can use it in three configurations, just like the Mila Triflex, whoever came up with it first. So you can use it as a handheld like this and of course you can also well maybe even four we could add a push call it four you can use it as a handheld you can use it as a mini cylinder vacuum and the other two configurations you can connect the wand with a floor nozzle like this pop the handle into the exhaust and use it like this. Now, this isn't the way I'd normally use it because you've got just like a, a modern cordless, you've got all the weight up near your hand. But in this configuration, this would be ideal for cleaning under beds, perhaps under low furniture. Or of course, you can just attach the hose, put the wand on the hose, and then you can clean under your low furniture that way. But yeah, you can do it like this. But the way you'd normally use this for whipping round, your carpets and floors. No, I want to leave that in, don't I? Yes. No, I don't. Roger, you should know by now. You've had many of these. You've still got plenty of hooverettes. Well, this is only my fourth hooverette. So we can take off carpet floor nozzle, plug it directly into the cleaner. Then you put your wand into the exhaust vent, then the handle. And now this is the most comfortable way to use it in upright mode because the weight is lower down and you've got less weight in your hand. It's a lovely little machine this. Ideal Hoover marketed this as a secondary cleaner You could, if you have a large home. Or this might be all you need if you had a very small home or an apartment or flat. And especially if you only had a few rugs and mainly hard floors. This, especially with all the tools, might be all some people needed back in the day. Because it's quite versatile with the hose. You know, something that I've said many times before. Why don't handheld and cordless manufacturers supply a little hose with all their machines? You can get them as an option for many, but often they're not supplied as standard. So it makes such a difference to the versatility having a hose, even a small hose like this. This would be okay on the stairs because if you had the carry strap, put it on your shoulder so you're not having to carry the machine. And of course you've got two free hands to direct the nozzle. I must get that off because that's, uh, I can't really use it very well with that stuck on there. It's time to measure the sealed suction of this little hooverette. Don't expect miracles. It's not going to be very powerful. It's definitely under 20, possibly even hovering around the 10 mark or even under 10. Who knows? Bear in mind that a, an average vacuum like a Henry would measure 80 on the gauge. But this little 240 watt hooverette, I think it's going to be 
Distinctly mediocre as far as sealed suction goes. Surprisingly, this Hooverette measured around 30 to 32 on the gauge. That's far more than it feels when you're putting your hand over the end. That's, of course, not with the hose connected, but I don't think it'll be much different when I connect the hose. So that's better. I mean, that's better than probably, I can't remember, you'll have to check back at the video, but I would say that's certainly more powerful than the Hoover Junior with the tools attached and possibly more powerful than the Hoover Senior with the tools attached. I must say this Hooverette has surprised me. It's a while since I've used one properly, so it was nice to rediscover this little vintage stick vacuum. And it's a pretty accomplished little machine. As I said earlier, it certainly does the job it was meant to do. It's not for big homes with wall-to-wall -wall carpets. No, it's not for that. But as I said, for a small home, for a flat, as a secondary cleaner or as a, a quick pickup cleaner, then I can see why this Hooverette would be useful for many people back in the day. Obviously people nowadays want cordless, they want bagless, and somebody being offered this now would probably throw it back in your face, but they're being rather short-sighted in my opinion, because this old girl will still be picking up dirt long after those Chinese made cordless machines have bitten the dust. Some dirt might fall out when I... Oops! <laughs> yes, it's fallen out into the nozzle. Let's take the uh, wand slash handle off. Take out both bags. Well, it's as clean in there as it was at the beginning of the video. And here, actually, no, the halo, you know, the halo bag doesn't have a flap on it, does it? No, there is no flap. I was confusing it with the Henry Quick bag. So, yes, it is because I'm sure there is a flap missing from the inside of there. It would have had a little rubber flap. 
pretty sure of it. Some finer dust has got through into the cloth bag, but you know, there are holes in this bag. But you know, it's picked up, it's picked up all this. There's some blue sand in there as well as the rolled oats and the rice and lentils. So all in all, I think, you know, I always thought this was a bit mediocre. What was the point of the Hooverette? But I can now see why Hoover designed this. If you're watching this in America, I believe this was called the Lark. And as far as I know, you didn't get all the tools with it. This would have definitely been sold as a secondary vacuum for an American home in general. American homes are much bigger than British ones. So I, I'm sure Hoover USA would have marketed this as, you know, a secondary quick pickup cleaner long before the days of cordless machines. I did manage, it took a while to get it off, but I did manage to get the uh, all-purpose brush off. It's still quite stiff, but for some reason there was a raised portion around here, so I had to sort of get a knife and sort of trim that up. So now it is coming on and off. So I can now attach all the other tools to it. I can attach the wand. Obviously, we need to take off the handle when using it like this. So we can use it as a mini cylinder vacuum like this. I suppose you'd need an extra wand really because you'd, you'd be stooping. Of course though, you could still use it in this configuration. If you had the shoulder strap, you can stand up. You still have to bend down a bit, but it is possible to use it like this. So that's the Hooverette, another lovely vintage machine. They don't make them like this anymore, folks. They do not. Hope you enjoyed this possible trip down memory lane. You might remember your parents or grandparents owning one of these, or perhaps you've got one yourself and you use it on a regular basis. Why not? If it still works, why not continue to use the older technology, which was, in my opinion, far better made than most of the modern stuff you can buy now. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about the Hooverette, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now. Yeah.